This is Renee Romeo of ReneeRomeo.com. You're in my entryway closet today as I attempt to organize my scarf collection. Now I have a lot of different scarves. Some are small, some are large, and the way that I'm doing it now is I'm just taking a little box and I'm folding all my scarves and placing them inside. So you'll see that it's kind of haphazard, it's, it's neat, but it's not really neat enough. And the worst part about it is, if I need this scarf on the bottom, look what winds up happening. They all fall all over the place. So I know this is what happens with your kids when they go to get something like this. If this is the way you're organizing your scarves, you've got a mess all over the floor all the time. So I have a genius way to organize your scarves, whether they're small or large, in a tiny little area. It's going to take up half the space it does now, believe it or not, and it's so fun to do. Now, the method that I'm about to show you works on any kind of scarf, whether it's a fluffy scarf, a thin scarf, a smaller scarf, a larger long scarf, anything and it winds up being the same every single time. So this scarf is a large scarf. It's folded in half and I have one hand on the top and the other hand on the bottom. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to take my hand that's on the top and I'm just going to keep turning this and twisting this around my wrist. Keep going until you get it to be nice and tight like this. So you'll see what winds up happening here. It's going to roll up automatically like a little braid and you're just going to tuck in the top nice and neat just like that. So this is what you wind up with compared to what I had before. And I'm just going to lay this in the bottom of the box and I'll do another one. And here's another large scarf all twisted up. And so you'll see it's just going to automatically make this beautiful braided little sculpture. It also works for infinity scarves. So these are the scarves that are just one giant loop of fabric. And you can even do this with your left hand. So whether you're left-handed or right-handed, it doesn't matter. It's going to work just the same for you. And then you're just going to go ahead and loop this all together, just like that, and lay it in place. And I have an extra long scarf here. So this one happens to be really fluffy. And what I'm going to do is just, you need to actually roll this nice and tight. So as you're rolling, just make sure you get it nice and tight in that little loop. And then it'll automatically come up like this. And I can tuck in the end and put it nicely in the box. And then here's a small fluffy little scarf really easy to do. You know, get your kids involved with this. This is a lot of fun. You know, you're going to wind up not having any scarves on the floor anymore, and they're going to bring their friends over and do this. So it's a great thing to spread through your neighborhood because your neighbors will really appreciate all the extra organization that their kids are bringing home. And this scarf is a great example of the type of scarf that shouldn't be folded horizontally. It's crinkled and all of the crinkles occur vertically. So if you had this folded up like this, when you pull it out, it's going to have all these horizontal folds in it and you don't want to wear it that way. And look, gorgeous. Now that all my scarves are nicely braided, I'd like to just show you how easy it is to grab a scarf out of this little box. So look, I have my nice, neat, giant scarf that used to take up a, a third of the space in this box, nicely condensed, beautifully, just nicely arranged. I can pull it out, I can put it on very easily and simply. And what's the best part of the entire project? Well, I've made room for a lot more scarves. So I hope you've enjoyed watching this great organizational project. And you know what? You already have everything you need to get the project done. So until next time, this is Renee Romeo of ReneeRomeo.com. Thank you so much for watching.